still tied. Tremaine Stevens runs it in. NC State would make the two-point conversion to go up by eight. 12 minutes left now. Kuklik goes to work, finding Tabidi Davis in the end zone, wait, within two. Second of two TD passes for Kuklik. Kuklik and Coach Jim Caldwell need two points. So Kuklik throws to Morgan Kane, but Kane doesn't get into the end zone. So with 48 seconds to play, Wake can take the lead if Matthew Burdick makes his 37-yard field goal. Burdick said he was nervous, but said as soon as he saw it off his leg, he knew it was in, and it was. Wake takes the one-point lead. So Pat coach Michael Kane wants to give his kicker, Chris Hensler, an opportunity to win the game. Amazingly, as you will see, NC, NC State gets into field goal range right here. Jamie Burnett hitting Torrey Holt one second ago. That sets up a 52-yard try for Hensler. And really, it looked good going off, but straight. But it comes five yards short, and Wake beats NC State for the first time in a decade. And the Wake Forest Demon Deacons final game at 14. Now on a second and seven. Chris Floyd takes the handoff, barrels into the end zone, 21-14 Wolverines. Fourth quarter, after a delay of game, pushed him back to third and nine. Hollis rolls, man open. The watch, the acrobatic, tremendous diving interception by Tommy Hendricks. Michigan kept giving Notre Dame chances with turnovers, but nothing in the fourth and two play as Utrey Jensen is stopped short, and Michigan's defense comes up big. Their offense rattles. Final non-conference game takes him to Columbia where Joe Germain played most of the game in favor of Stanley Jackson and Pepe Pearson rolled out and got in the end zone there and then Germain throws it up to David Boston wide receivers for Buckeyes as Kirk said in game day needing to make acrobatic catches to atone for last week and they certainly did yeah their wide receivers are about as good as anybody in the country the key is can the offensive line give those quarterbacks time if they do the Buckeyes are dangerous on the outside you know Missouri was only today hosted Illinois and Tavian Banks came in the leading rusher in the nation here's why this guy, maybe he doesn't get a million yards after contact, but you can't hit the guy. Look at the cutback run for 75 yards. It set up his own two-yard touchdown run, 7-zip Iowa, second quarter. Oh. Tim Lavery, the red shirt. For, uh, you see, the guy with the ball is a center, Tim. You want to guess the guard, the other guy. Okay, anyway, they punt the ball. Tony Collins has been cleaning up on punt returns because Tim Dwight, they don't want to kick to him. It's interesting because Tony Collins is Tim Dwight's roommate. Can you imagine they talk about this all day. They sprung him with some good blocks. It was 14-3 Hawkeyes at that point. Then it was 24-3 when Tavian Banks fakes the handoff on the reverse. He's off and running again. The Hawkeye defense just way, way too much for the Illini, who added a late touchdown, but it was 38-10. Receiver already 14 zip in the first quarter. Doug Johnson to Quezzy for 10 yards of the touch. 21-0 very quickly in the first quarter. Couch tries to bring Kentucky back, but ouch. Fred Weary picks him off. Just Gator defense making a statement once again against a highly regarded quarterback in Johnson. Once again, the forgotten quarterback in the game to Quezzy. Third in the game, and then Jamie Richardson hauls in the pass from 17 yards. Florida jumping all over Kentucky. Well, catch. His team had a score to settle. Oscar Davenport flips it out to Jonathan Linton on the third down play, gets in the end zone. It's 20 to 10, though, Cavaliers, until Dr. Dre picks it off. How do you like me now in the end zone? Tar Heels come back with defensive takeaways, and Davenport gets it done. Algie Crumpler, the big tight end, hauls it in. The Tar Heels caught fire in the second half. Their defense shut down Virginia. And what do you do when a team's been beating you bad in recent years? You go up top big when you're already ahead by two touchdowns and you really rev it in. 48-20 is the final strength coach with the Oakley in the T-shirt. But he's doing a good job. Jeremy Silcox sneaks it in, gets the first down, and then Brigham gets it in the end zone. Watch this right here on the, on the kickoff here. Colorado has not had a kickoff return for a touchdown since 1980, but Ben Kelly weaves down the sideline. This cuts a nine-point deficit in the closing minutes to 1917. So Wyoming just has to hold on to the ball and run out the clock. But they fumble the ball. Brigham loses the ball, picked up by Ron Murkerson. That was Wyoming's first turnover all day, and it set up a field goal by Jeremy Aldrich in the closing seconds. The Cowboy defense played a tremendous game. The kickoff cover defense with them running that wishbone. You got to get hit every play if you're a defensive player. And Rice softened him up here. Michael Perry, the big run early on. Rice would jump out to a 31-21 lead. In the fourth quarter, 
31-28, but Ricky Williams already four touchdowns, make it five, a Texas record. Longhorns back up by four, then the desperation play. The Owls not built for come from behind, and Chad Nelson's pass is incomplete, and Texas escapes what would have been a devastating quarter skip Hicks weaving through the middle into the end zone seven zip Bruins Man, Hicks is going to bust through again right up the gut this guy's got a great NFL future 19 yard touchdown run 14 zip UCLA then off the turnover early second half Hicks third touchdown breaks UCLA's all-time record 41 Gaston Green used to hold the record Hicks again number four ties the UCLA single game record Arizona would hang around, but the Bruins prevail. Overtime, tied at 13. The 28-yard field goal puts the Ponies up 16-13, but the defense can't hold. And BYU in the bottom of the first inning of overtime. Kevin Federick hands off to Brian McKenzie. And yet another would have, should have defenses. Well, the defense for Alabama would step up, do what they always do. They force turnovers here. Kenny Smith creates the fumble, leads to an Alabama touchdown and a 17-13 lead. Freddie Kitchens, Buchanan, the great bobbling catch down to the one-yard line sets up another Bama touchdown. Then Lee Roberts tries to bring the Eagles back, but Watt throws right into coverage there. Steve Harris with the pickoff, and Southern Miss again plays an SEC team tough, but that's not good enough. They don't go for moral victories down there in Alabama State, another one of their non-conference heavyweights that the Hokies seem to always line up. Quarterback Cleo Lemon back to pass. The Hokie defensive back steps in there. Lorenzo Ferguson with the interception. 84 yards for the touchdown. They missed the point, but that was about the only thing that went wrong for the Hokies all day long. They are on a serious roll. They have, don't forget, Miami at home. And Virginia. Ryan Clement goes to Reggie Wayne. The great catch. The freshman has made some circus catches, but they threw it a non-catch, and Butch Davis can only argue here. Amos Zaraway, 54 yards, gets down the sideline. The Mountaineers, at that point, cutting the Miami lead to 17-14. Then, back in Kane's territory in the fourth quarter. And it's Zaraway again. Shedding tacklers, tight roping. Everybody goes into the Orange Bowl and beats Miami these days, including White, Pennington. The Moss streaking, so you can't forget about how you like me now, Lee Corso. They missed the extra point. It's six nothing. Later, Moss out jumping Keon Lewis. Are you impressed yet, Mr. Corso? 14 nothing in the third quarter. Pennington, Moss. How do you like him now? It's 28 16, Marshall. Minutes later, the fade. Just forget about it. Lee, how do you like him? 35 16, Marshall. Randy Moss, one more time. It's impossible to defend this fade. The guy is so big, so tall. Five touchdown receptions on the day for Man Wisconsin. Ron Dane is back after the injury, the slow start. Around the left side, a five yard touchdown run. He had a couple of touchdowns, and Wisconsin had the one point lead. In the final minute, though, Indiana, could they pull off the upset in Madison? The field goal is up and good by Andy Payne, but they try a pooch kick, doesn't work. Good field position. Back come the Badgers. Samuel to Tony Simmons on a huge fourth and 15 play, and it sets up Matt Davenport, who knocks it down the middle. And the Badgers escape. This is a first game they've won since 93. Palo Alto, California. Chad Hutchinson, play action, hits Damon Dunn. 80 yards, Cardinal up by the score of 21 to 7. Second quarter, Oregon would re respond. Third and six, Achilles Smith. Kevin Parker, nice move there. 21-14 at this point, Stanford. Later in the second, third and 10 for the Cardinal. Hutchinson. Play fakes, finds Troy Walter. 30 yards and a touchdown. Hutchinson, fourth touchdown of the first half. 35-14 Cardinal. Jason Moss now finds Pat Johnson. 47 yards and a touchdown. Moss. Through for five TDs in the game. Oregon down 35-28. Chelsea and Clinton welcome to Stanford. Again. Fourth Inside quarter, Stanford head by seven. Line. Mike Mitchell goes up and the middle for the Mitchell score. Cap 17 straight running plays. 56-42 Cardinal. 140 to go. Latimer surges between the tackles. Touchdown. 56-49. Stanford in front. Onside kick. Not executed properly. Out of bounds. Oregon, though, did have one last chance on their own goal line. Moss. Sacked in the end zone, safety. It finally ends. Stanford wins.
58 to 49. Hutchinson, as I mentioned, driving yeah, again. Ryan Keeley dropping back. Keeley throws over the middle. Over the middle. Armand Pass Hatcher. Intercepted. Back the other way, a developing State, situation. The 76 yards, and we are all tied at seven. Fourth quarter, Oregon State down three. We got 33 ticks left, service. and so Tim Alexander will be picked off by Jawan Cherry. Right, ASU intercepts field. three intercepted passes in the game. They hold on to win 13 to 10. Sun Devils win, the even though they commit 14 penalties, turn the on their toes early. John Fox hits R.J. Soward with a short pass, and Soward breaks a tackle and takes off for the end zone. 33 yards, and USC leads it 14-0. USC would hit again with a big play. John Fox finds Soward again, hitting him on the run, and nice fingertip catch, 65 yards. That put the Trojans up 20-3. Cal did make it respectable, but this is how it went. Justin Vetter, he's going to come out he's with reloads. That ball oh, came out man. before it was going forward. Mulligan, plays. USC goes on to win it. 27-7. Quarter Air Force leading 18-7 when the Aztecs pull out the halfback option. Jonas Lewis finds Mike Hatch, 16 yards, two-point conversion, brought the Aztecs to within three at 18-15. Then only six seconds left in the game. Nate Tanberg, whose career field goal length had been 32 yards, not anymore. That's a 49-yarder. We're tied at 18. We go to OT. In OT, San Diego State's Tim McKechnie's pass, picked off by Tim Curry. I think he was also in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. 85 yards for the winning touchdown. Air Force, 24-18 in a wild, wild ending. And of course, when you win, push-ups for everyone. San Diego State rushed for just 24 yards on 20 carries while Air Force David Frakes. Watch him, number 12, watch the knee to the head. Significant, he's out with a concussion. More on that in a moment. Third quarter, Clemson trailing 10-7. Kevin Laird's punt, blocked. Jason Bostic got it. Travaris Tillman gets it and goes 30 yards for the touchdown. Georgia Tech takes a 17-7 lead. Still third quarter. Neil on green, rolls left and throws to Mal Lawyer, who takes it for the touchdown. A 30-yard pass play. But watch the replay. It appears Lawyer's knee touches the ground before he puts his hand down to break the fall. TD is called good. Clemson pulls within 3-17-14. Fourth quarter game tied at 20. Matt Paget attempting the extra point for Clemson. No good. Wide right. Tommy West. Did he miss that? So then the backup, Brad Chambers, later in the fourth to put Georgia Tech ahead. 20 yards out. It's good. And Frake says, thank you. Thank you. Georgia Tech wins it. Throw. First quarter, 6 0 Northwestern. Billy Dickin, the lateral to wide out. Donald Wilson, seven yards of touchdown, 7 3 Boilermakers. Mike Rose had a huge day. Third and 10. Tim Hughes drops back, and he's picked off by Rose. 20 yards for the touchdown, one of three interceptions for Rose. Third quarter, more Purdue. Dickon hits Brian Alford on the quick slant. Five yards for the touchdown, and Purdue wins 21-9. They win three straight for the first time since 85.